Hi everybody, and um, this is my first post in a long time, and if you didn't notice anything, you can't see me, and you cannot see my living room. Wonder why? Well, let's see. Hey! Yep, I got the um, iPod Touch 4th generation that has a camera, and we're going to get into our Lego review. Um, this is the Palpatine shop. Fairly good set. And let's start with the new things. Right, here we got the medic droid. Uh, I think it's a very cool minifig, custom to the set. It's got the battle droid legs, this taser kind of looking thing. Not really sure what that is. And then the battle droid arm, except it's gray. And then the head and the body, the base, are all one piece. We got a clone pilot who actually doesn't come with this pistol. This is a pistol from the Grievous Starfighter. Came with an extra pistol. Well, it didn't come with an extra pistol. It came with one pistol for General Grievous, but I don't really use that. I use a lightsaber, so I put the pistol on him. Uh, really liking the helmet. Good markings. Nice markings. So, here's the face. You got a little, like, breathing my things over here. Here's the back, printed nicely, white face, and all that. Here we got Anakin, pop off Darth Vader helmet. He's all orange and cut up. He's supposed to look like he was burnt, like he was when he was burned in the end of episode three. Uh, red lightsaber, silver hilt. Uh, I like him. He's a very good minifigure, but the minifigure that I think tops the set is Emperor Palpatine because he's custom to the set. You can also get him in the Death Star, but the Death Star costs a gazillion dollars. So basically, he's custom. He's got the red lightsaber, silver hilt. He's got this. Not sure what that's called. And then he's got the wicked looking face, green looking yellow kind of eyes. He's got a little bow over here. Torso. No printed pants or anything, but yeah, he tops the set. Alright, so here's the shuttle. Not too big. Not too small. So we're gonna pull the wings down. So those go down fairly easy. And we're gonna start over here with the cockpit. This just comes up and you got a little control center and a green little seat. So that's always good. And then what I do is when I put the clone pilot in here, I just take the little gun and just set it there. So if you have the Grave Starfighter and you get that extra gun, what you can do is you can just use it for the Palpatine shuttle so that clone has the um, gun. So let's undo this hatch. To undo the roof, you just pull pull these up. Take this off. Um, here's a little look at the roof. Nicely detailed. And then inside here, we got a little play area kind of thing. Uh, it's got these two lightsaber holders. These are just to um, move the things up and down. And then the main feature to the set, hang on just a minute. is what you want to do sorry that you're looking at the floor so let me get this set up is you want to take Anakin set him down here take the little Darth Vader helmet same old Darth Vader helmet I forgot to mention it put it in here and then if you can see you push this forward and it puts the helmet on, which is really cool, and it stands up. Only thing that I think is inaccurate is that in the movie, he had full Darth Vader outfit. And um, I think they should come with like an extra, uh, an extra sh um, body with the um, Darth Vader wear. So you could like put that on him and then put the helmet on so it looks cooler. But... All in all, very, very cool. 
uh, I don't know if I mentioned, I forgot. There are the lightsaber holders over here. And then what makes the thing move is this little lever. So push this forward and that just makes it stand up. It would snap the helmet in if I had the helmet off. Uh, one more thing. Over here, it's got these guns. Move around. And then it's very, very easy to put the roof back on. See if I can... I don't know if I put all the people in. You just have to get this sort of laid inside. Snap this in. And then there's also another snap thing in the back, right over here. So, let's pull this down. And then this is also, I think, is a gun turn. A gun or something. I'm not sure. And then, a thing I really like about this set is you just fold these up. I fold them up when I'm flying. You should fold these up. And it is so sturdy that I can pick it up from the little top there and it can hang up. So that's what's cool. And then one more thing is the landing gear. The landing gear can go out like that or it can go out like that for landing. So that's all. Let's get on to ratings. Younger kids, I'm going to give this... I think I'm going to give it a 9. Might be hard for them to build, but the sturdability, the playability, playability, what the heck, sturdability. Good, good set for younger kids. Older kids, I'm going to give it an 8.5. May not like it as much as the younger kids. Might be a little bit easier of a build for them. It was going to be an easy build for me. And adults, I'm going to give it, <coughs> sorry, I'm going to give it a 9. Because this is something that they can just put on a shelf and look at. It's something that, you know, is kind of for display for adults. Most Lego sets are display for adults. So that's all for that. Uh, got my mini fake file over here. That's my sock. Hi. So that's all for now. Um, hope you guys liked everything. And um, sorry about my hair. And I guess that's it. See you guys.